Now, I was led to believe that we had change in 2008 uh, when Barack Obama was elected president. Uh, he was a man of the people. He was a progressive. He had all those placards with hope and change. Those are very nice words. And we we're going to change the way Washington worked. That's a direct quote from President Obama. Well, let's see if he did that. So, uh, well, one of the things that uh, is very important is the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Now, that's a trade deal that is going to affect all of us and actually give um, corporations special rights. They would have the right to sue our government if the government is trying to protect our citizens. They get to do that with all the governments, including our own. So you want to pass a bill saying they're not allowed to pollute this. So no, no, no. That would impede my profits. That's in the deal. Okay, from the leaks that we've gotten about the deal. That would impede my profits. So they take you to court. Oh, you want to protect your kids because I'm spilling toxins into the river? Sorry, you're impeding my profits. So uh, I'm not subject to your sovereignty. Should conservatives despise this bill? All the belly aching they've done about sovereignty, right? Now, it's of course a trade agreement. Eventually, it's going to have to get cleared by Congress, except until recently, Congress wasn't even allowed to see the deal. Only the corporations could. Isn't that amazing? Our own theoretical representatives couldn't even see the deal. Now, they're allowed to see the deal in a closed room. I'm not kidding. They're not allowed to bring lawyers, they're not allowed to bring anyone that could. Uh, actually decipher what they're say, what it's saying. They're not allowed to take it out of the room. They just look at it for a second. Okay, okay, okay. All right, good job. Now get the hell out of here, okay? Your bosses are about to come in and do the deal. That's corporate America. Now, there's a few good uh, people left on Capitol Hill. One of them, Elizabeth Warren. And she said, trade agreements such as TPP provide a chance for these banks to get something done quietly out of sight that they could not accomplish in a public place with the cameras rolling and the lights on. She's, of course, very right about that. The banks care a lot about this because there's a million little goodies in there for them, what I just explained. Plus, on top of that, like in the last trade deal with Panama, they got to set up this little great sanction in Panama where uh, they can hide all their money and we can't tax it. How does that help the American people? We have almost no trade with Panama. The reason Panama was put into the last trade deal was just so that they could hide all the bankers' monies in Panama and not pay taxes on it. Okay, all right. And by the way, the same conservatives who also bellyache about, uh, oh, people profiting off the system, getting money off the system without paying taxes. Remember how Mitt Romney talked about the 47% of Americans who don't pay taxes? And look, that's the corporations who are designing these deals. They're the ones not paying taxes. So, uh, how do they get away with it? How do they do it? Well, uh, I'll give you examples. Michael Froman uh, was uh, our US is our US trade representative. Well, okay, good for Michael Froman, okay? And uh, of course, uh, as our current trade representative, I'm sure that he's totally unbiased. Oh, look at that, well, that's weird. Uh, he actually came from Citigroup. Okay, that's fine, you can come from anywhere you like, right? But as he was leaving Citigroup to go to the government, you know what he got? A $4 million exit payment. Exit payment. Okay, now, wait a minute. Uh, that looks like a bribe to make sure that when you go into government, you still represent Citigroup, right? He says, no, 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 I gave away a lot of that to charity. Oh, I'm sure you did, Michael, I'm sure you did. And uh, by the way, that leaves out another $2 million he got, also as he was exiting. Okay, what was that for? Well, Citigroup explains, I love this quote, in recognition of Froman's service to city in various capacities since 1999. Like out of the goodness of their heart, as a, he was about to go become our trade representative, where he would work on deals that affected billions of dollars for Citigroup, they decided, hey, you know what, Michael's been doing a great job since 1999 on various things, right? Yeah, let's give him another $2 million. All right. Um, and as Republic Report explains, and an excellent report on this, Citigroup provides an executive contract that awards additional retirement pay upon leaving to take a full-time, high-level position with the U.S. government or regulatory body. Of course, the way they justify it is, oh, since they're going to serve their country, we decided that we don't care about making profits. We just want to reward them for various activities, plus they're, since they're such good guys and they're going to serve their country patriotically, we just give them a bag of money as they're leaving. I'm sure. Now, who else does this practice? Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan Chase, Blackstone Group, Fannie Mae, Northern Trust, Northrop Grumman, all these companies who only care about being patriotic Americans and giving people millions of dollars out of the goodness of their hearts, right? <laughs> By the way, I don't know if you know this, but our president is Barack Obama. He doesn't have to pick a guy from Citigroup who got a huge exit package 
to be the guy who's our trade representative. But if you think that's bad, wait till you see who's been nominated for Department of Commerce position. It's Stefan Selig. And uh, how much did he get as he was leaving Bank of America? A $9 million bonus. Oh, that wasn't enough. That's on top of the $5.1 million that he got in compensation in his last year. So he was incentivized properly, <laughs> the $5 million, and then on his way out, they're like, oh, you're going to the Commerce Department. Here's another bag of money, $9 million. You know what to do, right, Stefan? Oh, he most certainly does. I'm glad we had change in this country. Yeah, change, I can believe it. A corporatist by a different name, Barack Obama. Same old, same old. All right. Oh, what's he done to get money out of politics? Oh, right. Absolutely nothing. Okay. You know, one last thing on this. You know that literally a single volunteer at Wolfpack, any of them, let alone some of the great volunteers we've had in Texas, Illinois, California, etc., New York, that have literally called every state rep and every state senator that they have in their state. But even the, the most uncommitted <laughs> part-time volunteer we've ever had who never got paid a dime but picked up one phone to call a state rep to try to get money out of politics has done more than Barack Obama. 